Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out a ton of new products from CoverGirl. I got the biggest PR package from them with every product pretty much that they have released for this spring and there are some good ones. And I wanted to create a festival inspired look with the makeup that I got. This is what I came up with. I think it came out cute, it's fun, it's different, and it's kind of springish. I used some purples, little teal, little lavender-ish color. Without further ado, if you guys want to see all of the goodies that CoverGirl came out with, and there are some good things. There's hits, there's misses, but like the hits are like hits, you know what I mean? If you guys want to see what they are, see how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so I literally got the biggest package and there's drawers. So I'm just gonna pull out each drawer and show you what I have. The first thing is the Katie Cat Lip Gloss available in 12 shades. They are highly pigmented lip glosses created by Katy Perry. They are $6.99. This is what they look like. This is the whole top row right here. This bottom row, these are matte. They're the Queen Collection Major Shade Liquid Lipsticks available in 12 shades. Those are $8.99. My face tell you. That's the package talking. Say that I'm but it's literally so big I can't even pick it up. Oh, it Melting Pal Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Those are in the top tray and I'm gonna try to lift them up after I pull out all the drawers and see if it's lighter. But also available in 12 shades and that's $6.99. Those are just matte liquid lips. For the eyes, I love that they put this little sheet on top and it has like all of the information. Makes life so much easier. I wish every brand did that. But this, these are the products here. We have some eyeshadows, liners, brow products on this side, and some mascara. These are the face products. Here's what we've got. We've got the concealers, which the concealers I've talked about before, as well as the setting spray I've used. We have a color correcting palette. We have powders. We have these, which I don't think I've talked about them before, but I actually really like them. And then I have these um, Vitalist Glow highlighters. I got two shades, and I think I tested them out. But I now have all six shades. So this is the box that everything came in. This is where the drawers were. And then you open it up. What does my face tell you? Does it say that I'm vain? I am testing out a foundation right now, so my foundation is already on. I'm also testing out a powder for you guys. So my concealer and powder on my under eyes is on. So we're gonna go take it from there. Vitalist Healthy Powder, that's this guy right here. This is in Buff Beige, I feel like. That looks like it might be a good match. I feel like for the face products, I already got most of them. This powder I haven't tried yet though. I think I'm actually going to put this in a drugstore, testing drugstore products pile and test this when I don't already have powder on my face. That way I can really see how it works. I think I'm going to do the same with the Vitalist Glow because I have been using this and I do love it, but I haven't, I don't think, shown it on camera yet. But again, it's a liquid product. My face is already done. This is the color correcting palette and I don't really color correct. And then here are all the concealers. I don't have any way of knowing what color is what because they're not labeled. So if I have any critique for CoverGirl, it is you need to label. Anyway, I really love this formula for directly under my eyes. I've said that a million times. It isn't a heavy coverage concealer, but it brightens and it doesn't crease. So this is really great for under the eyes. I did try this setting spray um, on camera and I liked it. You can check out that video. It was my new at the drugstore video. And that is all of the face products. We're gonna get into the eyes. Okay, so the first product I'm going in with is the Lid Lock It Up Primer. This is the eyeshadow primer. It says avoid creasing, fading, or smudging when rocking your best smoky eye and extend your glam all night long with Lid Lock It Up Eye Primer. Apply before your favorite eyeshadow to smooth the surface for perfect application and intensify the color. This is $7.99 and you're getting 0.2 fluid ounces. So we're gonna put this on the lid. This actually feels pretty nice. 
It really is giving me Urban Decay Primer Potion vibes. This feels a little bit tacky, so I'm going to go ahead and just set it. It's whatever is left over on my makeup brush. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and do my brows first. So, they have micro pencils, which are my absolute favorite, and I'm so excited that all these drugstore brands are cranking out these little pencils because I just love them so much. This is called the Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil. It's $6.99, which is a dollar cheaper than my favorite L'Oreal one. They have soft brown, honey brown, rich brown, soft blonde, sorry, honey brown, rich brown, and soft brown. Rich brown looks like it's going to be the darker of the two because it would either be one of these two, either rich or soft. Honey brown, I think, might be a little too light. So I'm going to try rich first, but I hope that rich doesn't mean red. No, that's like more of like a deep color. So I think we're going to go with that. This looks like it has a nice spoolie on it. And I'm going to just go through this like really quick because I just did a video all about my brows. I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out. I actually really like this. Okay, so they have a pomade they came out with and I don't really use pomades. So I'm just setting my brows with my own pomade, which is the Brow Power. But I will show you these. They come in these little tubes. They kind of remind me of the, I think, Cabrow from Benefit. They are the Brow Sculpt and Set Brow Pomade. These are $8.99. Again, there are no labels on the actual packaging. Why? It's a pomade. The brush pops out of the end and then you can make a brow. This pencil is awesome. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Like I liked the Maybelline one too, but like I ran out of it in, I don't even know, like a couple weeks or a month. Like I ran out of it so much faster than I ran out of the L'Oreal one. This one is a dollar less than the L'Oreal one, so we'll see how long it lasts. I'm gonna keep testing it and I'll let you know, but just like first impression, how it applied, how my brows look right now, and it took me no time. I I love this. And the shade, again, I used is Rich Brown. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes, I have three options here. I have the two Katie Cat palettes. I have Hot or Cool. The limited edition Katie Cat eyeshadow palettes have 10 shades per palette with a rich, intense color payout and a variety of finishes from matte to metallic, designed by Katy Perry, and they are $9.99 each. I think they're both so cute. This one doesn't look like there's really any mattes in it, but this one does. This one, is, these palettes, everyone raves about them. I've actually never tried them before, but this isn't really my color palette. I don't do like a true smoky eye ever. I feel like I should, and I feel like I've said that before. I feel like this one is super fun, but then again, I'm feeling festival vibes from this one. So I think we're gonna use a combination of these two. Look at this palette, how cute it is with the two kitty cats in the middle. And this is the colorful one. How pretty is that? Okay, so here are the swatches from the colorful palette. I mean, the colors are so pretty and I was wrong. Actually, this color here is a matte, which in the palette is this lavender shade right here. But, they are really, really pretty. All right, you guys. So I have really honestly like no idea where we're gonna go with this, but uh, I'm just gonna go in, you know? We're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna take my Lexi 229. I'm going to go in with this palette and I'm gonna take this little brown shade right here. This is a matte shade that we're gonna use to transition. Just pop that into the crease. All right, right away, like, See that skipping? I probably needed to set that eyeshadow primer a little bit more than I did. I did a very light dusting, so be warned. <laughs> you need to set it a little more than I did. So there is a little bit of kick up that happens. I just dusted it away. 
but I'm not mad at it. The pigmentation so far is good and it blends out really nice. All right, so jumping in to the other palette, I'm gonna take this color right here, this matte lilac color. I'm going to pop it right on top. So I'm going in with this color right here. As you can see, there is a little bit of dust. But like I said, I'm not mad at it. Next, I'm going to go in with this color. It's almost like a pink and purple, like dual chrome-ish color. And I'm thinking I'm going to spray this. That is so pretty. Okay. All right, cover girl. I think I'm going to go in with this brown color. It's a bit satin. And I'm going to smoke out this outer corner a little bit. So I'm going to take this color here. It is so pretty. This is a very glittery, sparkly color. So I'm going to spray this one as well. And I'm going to pop it in between right here where these two colors meet. I just love doing that. It's like my thing. Color didn't like to be wet. It comes out way better when it's wet, but... It doesn't look as smooth. It kind of looks almost textured when you wet it, but I'm still kind of obsessed. Okay, I also applied a little bit of this black color just right here, just to, I don't know, smoke it out just a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really pretty blue-green color. I'm going to spray it and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. Yeah, I'm going there. And I just kind of want to do a light dusting of the shimmery pink, like right here on the edge. Mm-hmm, yep. We are doing it. We are doing it today, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just slapping makeup on my face and seeing where it goes. And it's so fun. Next up, we have the Get In Line Liquid Eyeliner. These are $7.99. They're available in five shades. Teal Crystal, Bold Brown, Black Crystal, Black Vinyl, and Major Matte Black. And of course, the packaging has no names on them. How do I know which one is which? I mean, if I'm looking at Black Vinyl and Matte Black, how do I know? Really have to shake these to get them to work. All right, so here are the blacks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the top one is the matte black. This one, and it is super matte and super black. I'm just gonna wing it out. I like this brush. It's very easy to get a sharp wing. Ooh, I like this liner. That was so easy to put on. So it says the contour grip handle combined with ultra fine 0.1 millimeter tip helps deliver a controlled application of intense color, giving you the perfect cat eye every time. Yeah, I like this. Okay, next so we have the Peacock Flare Mascara. So these are available in five shades of black. Five shades of black? That's interesting. Five shades of black and a waterproof. They sent me extreme black and waterproof black. I am not going to do waterproof today, but I like that they have a waterproof option. I'm going to go in with this guy. Ooh, this is what the wand looks like. And it looks like they have like really short spikes. 
these little bristles are like getting in there to every single lash. Wow, that's really, really good. Holy crap, I'm obsessed. CoverGirl is blowing my mind right now. I'm so into this. All right, so I am gonna put on a lash. So I'm gonna go in with these House of La Lashes Pixie Lux style. I pulled these out because I haven't used my House of Lashes, like lashes in such a long time. And I've had these, I have like a couple pairs of these and they used to be my favorite. So I was like, let's try these. Why not? So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut those, pop them on. We'll be right back and we're gonna check out some of these lip products. Okay, so while my glue was drying, I just applied some lip liner. I used my L'Oreal Colorish Lip Liner in Mastermind. If you've watched me for a while, you know that these lip liners in the three nude shades are my fave. I also swatched these two lip products on my hand. One is the CoverGirl Queen Collection Major Shade. This one is called Insider. And then we have this one. It's the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ballerina. And that's a little bit more pinky. I was just trying to decide which one I wanted to go with. Leaning towards this one. I don't see really that much of a difference in the formulas. Like, they're both transfer proof. They're both liquid lipsticks. I don't know. I also have this Melting Pout Glitz Liquid Glitter Top Coat. We have to try this, don't we? All right, so I'll go in with this color. The formula is very like moussey. Like see, I don't know if you can see that. It's coming out very mousse-like. It's like whipped, like a whipped formula. It's pretty though. You do need to keep dipping your wand in though because you don't get a ton of product all at once. It really goes well with that lip liner though. There is not a blush in this collection, but when I look at these eyes, I just think about this blush. I don't know why. This is the Becca Luminous Blush in Foxglove. I never get to use this, so I'm gonna do it now. You know what, I don't even have bronzer on. Do you see me right now? I'm a mess. Okay. Well, I put on blush before I put on bronzer. I'm gonna run and bronze up my skin real quick and then I'll be right back to do that glittery top coat. Okay, so now I would like to go in with this Melting Pout Glitz. Right, so it says it's available in two shades, Golden Girl and Double Platinum. Melting Pout Glitz Top Coat can be worn alone, layered on top of any lip color for an instant shot of glamour. These glittery lipsticks have a reflective finish and a velvety soft feel. They're $6.99. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, here we go. It's just like a regular lip gloss tube. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's liquid glitter, you guys. <gasps> it's so pretty. In a festival sort of way. All right, first of all, it looks crazy. I, I understand that, but it's beautiful. Okay, let me get up close so you guys can see. Look at the glitter. Okay, it's completely even. It's not patchy at all. The glitter is just so reflective and beautiful. I bet the gold one is freaking stunning. It kind of goes with this look, which is fine. Would I wear this out? <clears throat> I don't know. I really have to see it with other lip colors. I bet with like a really hot pink or something, it would look better. It probably looks better with darker shades than it does lighter shades, but for glitter lipstick, you guys, it is gorgeous. The formula is flawless. I'm really impressed right now with CoverGirl. Okay, so I applied a bunch of different shades just to kind of see, and here's what I've figured out. 
So it doesn't really look good on the warmer shades. I think the gold color would probably look much better on those. But the cooler tones, I knew it was going to look good. Like this was the color I had in mind that I thought it looked beautiful on, and it does. This one, it looks okay, but this one, it looks beautiful too. So I think the deeper, cooler tones are going to look really beautiful with this top coat. And now that it's kind of settling, I, it's growing on me. I don't hate it. I don't know. It's just, it's fun. It's makeup, you guys. I will just say that it's a heck of a lot easier to put this on than to put glitter on your lips. You know what I mean? Because... I'm not about that life. Like, it looks cool, but it's not really cool in real life. <laughs> you can't wear it, and it's super uncomfortable, and you can't eat anything or drink anything, and then it gets all over your face. So this, this is not like that. This is perfect. This is amazing, and it stays put, and the formula is nice. It's not too sticky. It's just really good. I love it. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!